Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Magna Nati Mirandasya Gananjana Salakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Sri Chaitanya Mano Bistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Svayam Rupa Kadamahyam Darati Svaparantikam Vandeham Sri Guru Sri Yudapta Kamalam Sri Gurun Vaishnavam Scha Sri Rupam Sagrijatam Sahagana Ragunatan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Pada Sahagana Lalita Sri Visakan Vitam Scha He Krishna Karuna Sindo Dina Pando Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneswari Prisabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Haripriye Vancha Kalpata Rupyascha Kripa Sindhu Pyaevacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Shunyavadi Pashataya Deshatarine Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Sri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna. Please accept my humble obeisance. It's all glories to Shri Prabhupada. So, okay, we continue from 6.3 to today. Spiritual advice to businessmen. On January 13, 1973, in Calcutta, Shri Prabhupada speaks to the Bada Chamber of Commerce, a group of the region's leading businessmen. We should not be satisfied with becoming a big businessman. We must know what our next life is. If you cultivate this knowledge and at the same time go on doing your business, your life will be successful. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for kindly inviting me. I'll serve you to the best of my ability. Today's subject is culture and business. We understand business to mean occupational duty. According to our Vedic culture, there are different types of business. As described in Bhagavad Gita 4.13, Chaturvanyam Maya Srishtam Guna Karma, karma Vibhaka Saha. The four divisions of the social system based on people's qualities and types of work are the Brahmanas, intellectuals and teachers, the Kshatriyas, military men and state leaders, the Vaishyas, farmers and merchants, and the Shudras, laborers. Before doing business, one must know what kinds of work there, there are and who can do what kind of work. People have different capabilities and there are different types of work. But now we have a created a society where everyone takes up everyone else's business. That is not very scientific. So Society has natural, not natural cultural divisions, just as there are natural divisions in the human body. The whole human body is one unit, but it has different departments. Also, for example, the head department, the arm department, and the belly department, and the leg department. This is scientific. So in society, the head department is represented by the Brahmana, 
the arm department by the Kshatriya and the belly department by the Vaishya and the leg department by the Shudra. Business should be divided scientifically in this way. <coughs> The head department is the most important department because without the head, the other departments, the arm, the belly, and the leg cannot function. If the arm department is lacking, business can still go on. If the leg department is lacking, business can, can go on. But if the head department is not there, if your head is cut off from your body, then even though you have arms, legs, and belly, they are all useless. The head is meant for culture. Without culture, every type of business creates confusion and chaos. And that is what we have at the present moment because of jumbling of different types of business. So there must be one section of people. The head department will give advice to other departments. These advisors are the intelligent and qualified Brahmanas. Shamo damas tapasso cham kshantir arjava mevacha gyanam vigyana mastikyam Brahma karma svabhavajam. Peacefulness, self-control, austerity, purity, tolerance, honesty, knowledge, wisdom, and religiousness. These are the natural qualities by which the Brahmanas work. Bhagavad Gita 1842. The Brahmanas, the head of the social body, are meant to guide society and culture. Culture means knowing the aim of life. Without understanding the aim of life, a man is a ship without a rudder. But at the present moment, we are missing the goal of life because there is no head department in society. The whole human society is now lacking real brahmanas to give advice to the other departments. Arjuna is a good example for how, how a member of the Kshatriya department should take advice. He was a military man. His business was to fight. In the battle of Kurukshetra, he engaged in his business, but at the same time, he took the advice of the Brahmana Deva, Lord Krishna, as it is said, Namo Brahmana Deva, Go Brahmana Hitaya, Chajagat Titaya, Krishna, Go Vindaya, Namo Namaha. Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto Lord Krishna, who is the worshipful deity of all Brahmanical men, who is the well wisher of cows and Brahmanas, and who is always benefiting the whole world. I offer my repeated obeisances to the person of Godhead. Known as Krishna and Govinda, Vishnu Purana 119.65. In this verse, the first thing taken into consideration are the cows and the Brahmanas, Go Brahmana. Why are they stressed? Because a society with, a, with no Brahminical culture and no cow protection is not a human society, but a chaotic animalistic society. And any business you do in a chaotic condition will never be perfect. Business can, do, can be done nicely only in a society following proper cultural system. Instructions for a perfect cultural system are given in Srimad Bhagavatam. I had a meeting in the forest of Naimisharanya, where many learned scholars and Brahmanas had assembled and Shila Sutta Goswami was giving instructions. He stressed the Varnashrama social system. Atah sreshta varnashrama vibhagashaha. The Vedic culture organizes society in the four varnas, occupational divisions, and four ashramas, spiritual stages of life. As mentioned before, the varnas are the, are the Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, and Shudra. The ashramas are the Brahmachari ashram, celibate student life, Grihastha ashram, family life, Vana Prashta ashram, retired life, and Sanyas ashram, renounced life. Unless we take to this institution of Varnashrama Dharma, the whole society will be chaotic. And the purpose of Varnashrama Dharma is to satisfy the Supreme Lord, as stated in the Vishnu Purana 389. According to this verse, 
one has to satisfy the Supreme Lord by properly performing one's prescribed duties according to the system of Varna Nashram. In a state, you in a state you have to satisfy your government. If you don't, you are a bad citizen and cause chaos in society. Similarly, in the cosmic state, that is in this material creation as a whole, you do not satis if you do not satisfy the Supreme Lord, the proprietor of everything, then there will be a chaotic condition. Our Vedic culture teaches that whatever you do, you must satisfy the Supreme Lord. That is real culture. Svakarmana tam siddhim vindati manavaha. <clears throat> you may do any business. The Brahmana business, the Kshatriya business, the Vaishya business or Shudra business. But by your business, you should satisfy the Supreme Person of Godhead. You may be a merchant, a professional man, a legal advisor, a medical man. It doesn't matter. But if you want a perfection in your business, then you must try to satisfy the Supreme Person of Godhead. Otherwise, you are simply wasting your time. In Bhagavad Gita 3.9, Lord Krishna says, Yagnarthat karmanaha. The word Yagna refers to Vishnu or Krishna, the Supreme Lord. You have to work for him. Otherwise, you become bound by the reactions of your activities. Anyatra lokoyam karma pandana. 3.9 As long as you are in the bondage of karma, you have to transmigrate from one body to another. Unfortunate that at the present moment, people do not know that there is a soul and that the soul transmigrates from one body to another. As stated in Bhagavad Gita, t 2.13 Tata Deha Antara prapti, prapti When the body dies, the soul transmigrates to another body. I talk with big, big scientists and professors who do not know what, that there is life after death. They do not know, but according to their Vedic information, there is life after death. And we can experience transmigration of the soul in this present life. It is a very common thing. A baby, a baby soon gets the body of a boy. The boy then gets the body of a young man and the young man gets the body of an old man. Similarly, the old man after annihilation of this body will get another body. It is quite natural and logical. Actually, we have two bodies, the gross body and the subtle body. The gross body is made of our senses and the bodily elements, bones, blood and so on. When we change our body at the dead, the present gross body is destroyed. But the subtle body made of mind, intelligence and ego is not. The subtle body carries us to our next gross body. It is just like what happens when we sleep. At night we forget about the gross body and the subtle body alone works. As we dream, we are taken away from our home, from our bed, to some other place, and we completely forget the gross body. When our sleep is over, we forget about the dream and become attached again to this gross body. This is going on in our daily experience. So we are the observer. Sometimes of the gross body and sometimes of the subtle body. Both bodies are changing, but we are the unchanging observer. The soul within the the soul within the bodies. <clears throat> Therefore, our inquiry should be: what is my position? At night I forget my gross body, and during the daytime I forget my subtle body. Then what is my real body? These are the questions we should ask. You may do your business as Arjuna did his business. He was a fighter, a kshatriya, but he did not forget his culture. Hearing Gita from the master, but if you simply do business and do not cultivate your spiritual life, then your business is used as waste of time. Shramaeva hi kevalam. Our Krishna consciousness movement is being spread so that you do not forget your cultural life. We, don't, we do not say that you stop your business and become a sannyasi like me and give up everything. We do not say that, nor did Krishna say that. Krishna never said, Arjuna, give up your fighting business. No, he said, Arjuna, you're a kshatriya. You are declining to fight, saying, oh, it is very abominable. You should not say that. You must fight. That was Krishna's instruction. Similarly, we, Krishna conscious people, are also advising everyone. Don't give up your business. Go on with your business, but simply hear about Krishna. Shaitana Mahaprabhu also said this, quoting from Srimad Bhagavatam, Stane stita shruti gatam tanu van mano bihi. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu never said, give up your position. Giving up one's position is not very difficult. 
but to cultivate spiritual life, spiritual knowledge while one stays in his position, that is required. Among the animals, there is no cultivation of spiritual life. That is not possible. The animals cannot cultivate this knowledge. Therefore, if human being does not cultivate spiritual knowledge, then there's exactly they they are exactly like animals. Dharma nahina pa shubhi samanaha. So we should be very conscious about our eternal existence. We, the spirit soul within the body, are eternal. Nahanyate hanyamane sharire. Bhagavad Gita 2.20 We are not going to die after annihilation of our body. This is cultivation of knowledge. Or Brahma Jiknasa, when which means inquiry about oneself. Chaitanya, Mahama, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's first disciple, Sanatana Goswami, was firmly finance minister in the government of Navapusensa. Then he retired and approached Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and humbly said, My dear Lord, people call me Pandit. Because he was a Brahmana by caste, naturally he was called Pandit, meaning a learned person. But I am such a Pandit, he said, that I do not even know who or what I am. This is the position of everyone. You, you may be a businessman or you may be in another other profession, but if you do not know what you are, where from you have come, you why you are under the tribulations of the loves of material nature and when you are going and where you are going in your next life if you do not know these things then whatever you are doing is useless as stated in Srimad Bhagavatam 120 128 the occupational activities a man performs according to his own position are so much useless labor if they do not provoke once provoke attraction for the message of the person they've got it. Therefore, our request to everyone is that while you engage in business in whatever position Krishna has posted you, do your duty nicely. But do not forget to cultivate Krishna knowledge. Krishna knowledge means God consciousness. We must know what we are, part and parcel of God. We must know that we are part and parcel of God. Mamai Vamsho Jiva Loke Jiva Bhuta Sanatanaha Bhagavad Gita 15.7 We are eternally part and parcel of Krishna or God, but we are now struggling with the mind and senses. Manasas Tandriyani Prakritihi Prakritistani Karshati Bhagavad Gita 15.7 Why the struggle for existence? We must inquire about our eternal life beyond this temporary life. Suppose in this temporary life I become a big businessman for say 25 or 30 years or at most 100 years. There's no guarantee that in my next life I'm going to be a big businessman. No, there is no such guarantee. But this we do not care about. We are taking care of our present small span of life. But we are thinking, but we are not taking care of our eternal life. That is our mistake. In this life, I may be a very great businessman, but in my next life, my car by my karma. I may become something else. There are 3.4 million forms of life. Jala jana valakshanista avara lakshavim satihi. There are 900,000 forms of life in the water. 2 million forms of trees and plants. Then... Then Krimayo Rudra Shankyakaha Pakshinam Dasha Lakshanam. There are 1.1 million species of insects and reptiles and 1 million species of birds. Finally, Trimsha Lakshani Pasha Vaha Chatur Lakshani Manusaha. There are 3 million varieties of beasts and 400,000 human species.
So we must pass through 4 million different forms of life before we come to the human form of life. Therefore, Prahlad Maharaj says, Kaumara acharet pragno dharman bhagavat bhagavataniha durlabam manusham janma tadapa druvam artadam. Srimad Bhagavatam 761. One who is sufficiently intelligent should use the human form of the body, form of body from the very beginning of life, in other words, from the tender age of childhood, to practice the activities of devotional service. The human body is most rarely achieved and although temporary, like other bodies, it is meaningful because in human form, human life, one can perform devotional service. Even a slight amount of sincere devotional service can give one complete perfection. Bhagavad Gita 7.1 Bhagavad Bhagavatam Srimad Bhagavatam 7.6.1 this human bird is very rare. We should not be satisfied simply with becoming a big businessman. We must know what our next life is. What we are going to be. There are different kinds of men. Some are called karmis. Some are called gyanis. Some are called yogis. And some are called bhaktas. The karmis are after material happiness. They want to be... They want the best material comforts in life. And they want to be elevated to the heavenly planets after death. The Gyanis also want happiness. But being fed up with the materialistic way of life, they want to merge into the existence of Brahman or Absolute. The Yogis want mystic power. And the Bhaktas, the devotees, simply want the service of the Lord. But unless one understands who the Lord is, how can one render service to Him? So cultivating knowledge of God's highest culture. So cultivating knowledge of God is the highest culture. There are different kinds of culture. The culture of the karmis, the culture of the gyanis, the culture of the yogis, and, at the cult and the culture of the bhaktas. Actually, all of these people are called yogis if they are doing their duty sincerely. Then they are known as karma yogis, kyana yogis, and dhyana yogis, and bhakti yogis. But in Bhagavad Gita 6.47, Krishna says, Yoginam apisarvesha mat katenantaratmana shraddhavan bhajate yomam same yukta tamo mataha. Who is the first class yogi? Krishna answers. He who always is, think who he who is, always thinking of me. This means the Krishna conscious person is the best yogi, as already mentioned. There are different kinds of yogis, the karma yogi, the kyana yogi, the dhyana yogi, the bhakt and the bhakti yogi. Not the best, but the best yogi is he who always thinks of Krishna within himself with faith and love. One who is rendering service to the Lord. He is the first class yogi. So we request everyone to try to know what he is. What Krishna is. What his relationship with Krishna is. What his real life is. And what the goal of life is. Unless we cultivate all this knowledge. We are simply wasting our time. Wasting our valuable human form of life. Although everyone will die. That's a fact. One who dies after knowing these things is benefited. His life is successful. The cat will die, the dog will die, everyone will die. But one who dies knowing Krishna, oh, that is a successful death. As Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita 4.9. Janma karma chame divyam evam yo veti tattvataha tyaktva deham punar janma naiti mameti sojuna. One who knows in truth the transcendental nature of my appearance and activities does not upon leaving this, the body take his birth again in the material world, but attains my eternal abode, O Arjuna. So wherever we go all, all over the world, our only request is, please try to understand Krishna, then your life is successful. It does not matter what your business is. You have to do something to live. Krishna says, 
शरीर जत्रपी चते न प्रशीत्येत अकर्मनः if you stop working your life will be hampered one has to do something for his livelihood but at the same time he has to cultivate knowledge for the perfection of his life the perfection of life is simple try to understand krishna this is what we are prescribing all over the world it is not very difficult if you read bhagavad gita as it is you will come to understand krishna krishna explains everything for the neophytes krishna says rasoha mapsukonteya prabashmi shashi surya yo my dear konte i am the taste of water and i am the light of the sun and the moon there is no need to say i cannot see god here is god the taste of water is god everyone drinks water and the one taste and when one tastes it he is perceiving god then why do you say i, I cannot see god think as god directs and then gradually you'll see him simply remember this one instruction from bhagavad gita rasoha mapsukonteya prabhasmi shashi surya yo i am the taste of water i am the shining illumination of the sun and moon who has not seen the sunlight who has not seen the moonlight who has not tasted water then why do you say i have not seen god if you simply practice this bhakti yoga as soon as you taste water and feel satisfied you you will think oh here is krishna immediately you will remember krishna you will remember oh here is krishna as soon as you see the moon shine you will remember oh here is krishna and and shabda ke as soon as you hear some sound in the sky you will remember here is krishna in this way you you will remember krishna at every step of your life and if you remember krishna at every step of life you will become the topmost yogi and above all you if you practice the changing the chanting of hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare you will easily remember krishna there is no tax there is no loss to your business if you chant the hare krishna mantra if you remember krishna while drinking water what is your loss why don't you try it this is the real culture of knowledge if you cultivate this knowledge and at the same time go and doing your business your life will be successful thank you very much okay prabhu now let's go to six as the compares चेतो दर्पणम अर्जनम भवमहादावाग्निर्वापनम श्रेय कैरव चंद्रिका वितरनम विद्यावादू जीवनम आनंदम पुतिवर्धनम प्रतिपदम पूर्णामृत स्वादनम सर्वात्मा स्नपनम परम विजयते श्री कृष्ण संकीर्तनम नाम नाम कारि बहुता निज सर्वशक्ति सुंदरी कविता जगदीश काम मम जन्म जन्म भवताजा किंकरूलिदृशिंत नयन गलदश्रुदारया चक्षुषा 
ಯಥಾತಥಾವಿಧಾಥಾತುಲಂಪತೋ ಮತ್ರಾನಾಥಸ್ತು ಸೇಮನಾಪರ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಟು ದ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ಲೆನ್ಸಸ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ದಾಸ್ ಅಕ್ಯುಮುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ವಿಶಸ್ ದ ಫೈರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನಲ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೆತ್ ದಿ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೈಮ್ ಬೆನೆಡಿಕ್ಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹ್ಯುಮ್ಯಾನಿಟಿ ಅಟ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಡ್ಸ್ ದ ರೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಬೆನೆಡಿಕ್ಷನ್ ಮೂನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಲೈಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡೆಂಟಲ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ it increases the ocean of transcendental bliss and it enables us to fully taste the nectar for which we are always anxious o oh my lord your holy name alone can render all benediction to living beings and thus you have honored ten millions of names like krishna and govinda in these transcendental names you have invested all your transcendental energies they are not even hard and fast rules for chanting these names o oh my lord Out of kindness you enable us to easily approach you by holy names but I am so unfortunate that I have no attraction for them one should chant the holy name of the lord in a humble state of mind thinking oneself lower than the straw in the street one should be more tolerant than a tree devoid of false sense of false prestige and should be ready to offer all respect to others in such a state of mind one can chant the holy name of the lord constantly while my dear lord I have no desire to accumulate wealth nor do I desire beautiful women nor do i want any number of followers i only want your causeless devotional service bird at the bird o son of maharaj nanda krishna i am your eternal servitor yet somehow or other i have fallen into the ocean of birth and death please pick me up from this ocean of death and place me as one of the atoms at your lotus feet o my lord when will my eyes be decorated with tears of love flowing constantly when i chant your holy name when will my voice choke up and when will the hairs of my body stand on end at the recitation of your name o govinda feeling your separations i'm considering a moment to be like 12 years or more tears are flowing from my eyes like torrents of rain and i'm feeling all vacant in the world in your absence i know no one but krishna as my lord and he shall remain so even if he handles me roughly roughly by his embrace or makes me broken hearted by not being present before me he is completely free to do anything and everything for he is always my worshipful lord unconditionally hari bol shri sikshastakam ki jai parinam sankirtan ki jai panchak tatva ki jai shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu ki jai nityananda prabhu ki jai jagat guru shra bhakti vrant swami shla prabhupada ki jai nitai gaura premande hari hari bol